and now that I'm done singing to this ice cream and now that I'm done talking so loud, I'm Emily. Again, welcome back to my channel, Dairy Girl Fitness. I'm so excited to have you here. And today we are going to be taste testing Fair Life ice cream. I'm pumped. But before we dive into any of that, if you are here, please sub please subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up down below. Please don't give me a thumbs down. <laughs> and if you have anything to say, any thoughts, any questions, leave the comments down below and I'll be sure to see them. Be sure to get back to them. But back to these bad boys. So <sighs> I love dairy. I love ice cream. Obviously my name is Dairy Girl Fitness. And so today we will be doing a beautiful taste test of Fairlife Light Ice Cream. And if anyone knows me, y'all know I'm a big Fairlife fan. I'm a Fairlife fan of their white milk, chocolate milk, the creamers, whatever else they have. Oh, Core Powers, all that good stuff. And so when this ice cream came out, I really, really wanted to try it. I saw everyone posting about it, but it's not available everywhere yet. I really think they want to kind of see how people respond to it, what people think before they go everywhere with it. And where I'm at in Florida, I haven't been able to find it. So Fairlife noticed I'm a fan on Instagram because I post about them all the time. And they sent me this care package of all seven flavors. Mm -mm -mm. And again, this is a light ice cream. So it's, you know, lower calorie, a little bit higher protein than traditional ice cream. But compared to like, let's say Halo Top or Eat Enlightened, I think it is a little bit higher calorie, but still, you know, lower calorie in the grand scheme of things. And it is also lactose free. So any of y'all watching this, you're like, I can't eat ice cream. I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> Problem solved right here, baby. Mm -mm. Anyways, what am I going to say? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Let's get right on into it. There are seven flavors of this obviously one two three four five six seven and down here i started with kind of the most basic flavors towards this way the ones i'm more excited for so we got vanilla chocolate mint chip java chip cookies and cream double fudge brownie chocolate peanut butter i'm excited for you <laughs> okay and then just to kind of go over and give you a brief overview of like what the calories look like compared to another brand of light ice cream. Vanilla and chocolate, 140 calories per serving. These three, uh, 170 calories per serving. And then, oh, and this one, those four. And then the chocolate peanut butter, which, mm, my weakness, 190 calories per serving. And really, they all have like nine grams of protein per serving. And it really just varies within the, con the fat content. And there's about three servings per container. So let's dive right on in. Mm. All right, time to go. Obviously excited, honestly, I'm just really hungry. <laughs> so we're gonna dive right into these babies. And first, I'm gonna start at this end because honestly, these are the more fun flavors that I'm really excited to try. And you know, chocolate vanilla, if those are your favorite ice cream flavors, I'm suspicious of you. No judgment, just being honest. I just, I question your opinion. <laughs> no, nah, but for real, we're cool, but there's so many better flavors out there. But we gotta try it because we gotta try it, right? We gotta go with all the flavors. So I'm just gonna try like a little bit of each, right? And I've been letting them thaw out a bit because that's the thing with the light ice cream. It just freezes a little bit harder. Is that even, is that real? Or I don't even know if I said that right, but you have to let it thaw out a little bit so I don't have to act like I'm like picking out an iceberg, right? Oh, ooh, nice and soft. And I think the fat content within these is a little bit higher than traditional like halo top or eat and like and so you can already tell right off the bat like it's a bit creamier so oh look at that mm. vanilla here we go mm. oh my gosh that is so much creamier than what i was expecting 
Oh, that is a delightful surprise. Mm. Vanilla, good, right? I mean, vanilla is vanilla, very good taste. And it's vanilla, not bean, but you can see there's like little specks in there, right? You know, got the real bean thing going. And again, super creamy texture. So that's awesome for vanilla, of course. Now chocolate, I like chocolate over vanilla. So excited for this one. Mmm, 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 mmm. I love chocolate. Mmm. I didn't think it through to where I'm gonna have to like eat this and try to chocolate at the same time. So sorry. Mmm. That's really good as well. And honestly, like for the most basic flavors, I can't tell like that it's a light ice cream. I'm sure maybe if I compared it next to like a Ben and Jerry's, you could tell the difference, but both well, these are really good. I would say they're pretty spot on with like regular vanilla and chocolate ice cream. And they're both really creamy. And of course, I like chocolate more because that's just the kind of gal I am. Now, ooh, mint chip. Oh, this smells very good. Look at it. You can see, got your little chocolate pieces in there. Okay, I got all the chocolate off this. Look, y'all can see me do the dip. Nice and creamy. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Mmm. That's really good. Um, I'm not always a huge mint gal because sometimes it's like overwhelming. A punch in your face like, here's mint. Here's a bunch of peppermint to make your breath smell good. Mmm. That's actually, that's really good. Still the creamy texture. And it's not as sweet as you would say like a shamrock shake, but look, which let's be honest, those are like way too sweet. But it has a nice mint flavor and you have a ton of chocolate chunks in there. So really happy with this one. And again, I'm not like a huge mint gal, but I would definitely eat this because a nice change up for me for my typical like chocolate cookie type of deal. And Java chip. I love coffee. I don't eat a ton of like coffee flavored things though. But a lot of people have talked about this flavor and it's been their favorite. So I have it right in the middle here, but I guess it's the moment of truth. Ooh, okay, so it smells like, you know, like an iced coffee from McDonald's or something. Mm, so I love the smell of coffee and obviously sugar. You can see, I mean, it's like obviously brown, like espresso color, coffee color, and there's little chocolate chunks in there. Y'all can see that. Mm. Okay, let's show y'all. Make sure I get some chunks. There's a chunk. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I didn't get that big of a piece. Let me get it a little bit of a bigger bite. Here we go. Ooh. Mm -hmm. It's like sultry music playing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry, ice cream makes me weird. Mm. That's really good. Oh, I'm I'm torn between these two. Obviously, this one's like a little bit of a brighter, like kind of more refreshing flavor. This one obviously has a little bit of a is deeper a right word, like the coffee flavor. So it really just kind of depends what you want there. Really good, but it almost tastes like less creamy than these two, but so really good. I definitely get why people love that because coffee and chocolate, pretty hard to beat. Okay, now to the flavors I'm really excited about. I hope y'all don't let me down. Okay, cookies and cream. You know, probably one of America's favorites. I don't know why I'm smelling them. <laughs> Can't really smell. Okay, it doesn't really smell like anything, but here you have it. Obviously vanilla ice cream with basically Oreo pieces. Can I say that? Cookies and cream pieces. <laughs> and I want to get like a really good bite with lots of cookies. I don't know if this looks like a good area. All right, we're getting a big bite here. Oh yeah. Look, I got a nice like cookie chunk there. You can see that, can you? I don't know like what it focuses like. Cheers. Mm. Oh, a cookie piece, I need that. Mm. Cookie 
creaminess came back into this one. Hmm. It's good. It's like cookies and cream, but I almost wish I, <clears throat> I could taste the cookies a little bit more. So it's still really creamy, creamier than like these two, I would say, but not as much of a punch of flavor compared to these two, but still a very good cookies and cream for light ice cream. And honestly, within all of these so far, like I obviously haven't gotten here yet, there's a lot more pieces in here than compared to like a halo top or an Eat Enlightened, because those, it's like, oh, here's cookie dough, and then there's, like, literally, like, two chunks of cookie dough this big. So, these guys, not skimping, very happy with the amount of pieces in this. So, let's see if they can keep up with that with the double fudge brownie. Oh, wow. Swirl right at the top. Let me just, like, get a little piece of that. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Nice chocolate swirl up at the top. Mmm, already. Girl, you're one of my faves. Okay, so got a little brownie piece there, I think. Got some fudge, so that's gonna be a perfect bite. Let me show y'all this dude for. Oh, oh, did y'all see that? Oh, oh yeah. Look at that fudge. I'm excited. Mmm. Oh. Fave so far out of all of these. I haven't tried this one yet, but oh, it's creamy, chocolatey, big chunk of brownie fudge thing I just got there, and fudge swirl. Chocolate with like actual chewy, fudgy pieces in it. That's like, that's speaking to my soul right there. So obviously, that's my preference, but it's good, fudgy brownie pieces it's not like this pathetic little things this big that you can hardly taste solid oh and it's a double fudge brownie in case i missed that double fudge okay now the moment of truth <laughs> chocolate peanut butter i really hope i love this i'm thinking though that maybe this double fudge brownie wins for me but okay it smells like peanut butter so i'm thinking it's peanut butter ice cream it doesn't really say. I'm thinking it's like peanut butter ice cream with chocolate chunks in it. This is what it looks like. So, can y'all see that? <laughs> okay. I'm gonna get a big chunk or big bite just to make sure I get like all the pieces necessary to really get a full review. Oh, there's a chocolate piece. Oh, a big chocolate piece. Oh, oh. Oh, I got two big chocolate chunks. Y'all see that? Yeah, that's way too big of a bite for one take. Mm. <laughs> oh yeah. I sent you the piece, so it's so cold. <laughs> Come on. Mm, 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 mm. Oh yeah. Mm. Me. Chomping away that chocolate chunk. Mm. <laughs> I keep taking me. You're probably like, Emily, just shut up and tell us how it is. I do like that. But, like, right off the bat, I got a good peanut butter taste. But as soon as you start by eating to the chocolate, which maybe this is the case for all peanut butter chocolate ice cream, the peanut butter flavor fades away a little bit. <laughs> but it's still really good, right? I'm just being honest and open with all of this. And I wish this one still super creamy. I wish it had more of a peanut butter taste to it. I wish maybe it had like peanut butter swirl, but again, I understand that it's light ice cream. So probably not possible to do that and keep it within like the macros that it has. So for light peanut butter chocolate ice cream, still a win in my book. And honestly, all of these are wins in my book. They all get a participation trophy here. <laughs> but truly, I really enjoyed all of this. Out of all the light ice cream brands I've tried, like within cartons like this. And again, this is a little bit higher calorie than like an Eat Enlightened or a Halo Top. But honestly, I say it's completely worth it. These are way creamier. Like they taste like actual ice cream, let's be real. Because this other one, it's almost like ice crystals, which are so good. If that's what you need. But... If I had to choose, I would go for these because 
They're a lot creamier, much more generous within like the actual pieces that you'll find in here, like the fudge brownie, like the chocolate chunks, and a lot of the flavoring. And I think you just get more like bang for your spoonful. I don't know, a lot more flavor is what I'm trying to say. And now, okay, the moment of truth. Let me rate these. All right, we're done. Obviously, I really didn't change much. It wasn't that confusing. You know, when you go to like baseball games and they'll like put the ball under the hat and they switch around, you're supposed to guess. That was definitely not like that because I barely swapped anything. But kind of what I expected, a little bit of a change up, honestly. So vanilla and chocolate because most basic flavors. I don't want to put them above anything because basic, but still really good. Okay. The, from good to best. Vanilla, chocolate, mint chip, cookies and cream, which honestly, I wanted to like that more, but I did, but I like Java chip more. And then the chocolate peanut butter, which I'm kind of torn between these two. It's almost a tie, but just because of the peanut butter it has a slight upper, upper leg in my book. And then this double fudge brownie wins with yeah, you can't beat the fudge ripple, the actual like brownie chunks in it that are soft and chewy, and it's chocolate. Y'all, what I really need is that they combine these two, chocolate, peanut butter, fudge, brownie. Thank you, Fairlife. You should hire me now for that idea. <laughs> but I'm going, this is all like melting all over my counter, but I highly recommend all of these. Honestly, from what I've seen where people can purchase them is a lot of people get them at Target's and I've seen some people get them at Walmart. Honestly, again, I've not been able to find in my area, but those will be the places to look. I know on their website, you can view store locators of like what products are where, and hopefully they roll these out soon to more locations because I really do enjoy these. It's a really nice experience for light ice cream to where you feel like you're eating real ice cream still while still saving some calories and macros for other things because I do count my macros and I currently am in a cut. So these are the perfect little treat to sneak in here and there. And again, these are the seven flavors. And this is how I would rate them from this side to this side. And thank you for life again for sending these my way. They'll probably never see this, but I still wanted to say thank you. And mm, I'm gonna like put these away and I might keep eating a little bit more of this. But <laughs> thank you for watching my taste test. This was like my first taste test on YouTube. And of course it had to be ice cream. And of course it was like fair life ice cream. But I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, of course, drop them below. If you like this in any sort of way, or first off, if you just like ice cream, if you like fair life, give this video a thumbs up. And to see more things like this, I think I wanna be doing more taste tests, maybe cooking some recipes, taking you on more farm tours. If you wanna see all of that, please subscribe to my channel down below. And you can also follow me on Instagram at Dairy Girl Fitness and follow along on Facebook as well at Dairy Girl Fitness. But until next time, hope y'all enjoyed and I'll see you soon.